a little meditation for you. Um, it's Friday morning for me and I'm just outside, the sun is shining. It's quite in my mind and you can call it meditation but I no longer like to think that I'm doing meditation but being in my natural meditative state and I just thought you'd like to join me, maybe. And all you need to do is listen. So maybe you want to close your eyes. And we've been brought up to think that we need to do. That if you've got a problem, there's something to do. And sometimes there is. Sometimes you need to cook dinner and go to work. But what's really striking me is everything is thinking. People say to me, Jenny, how do I stop my thinking? How do I stop my thinking? It's like saying, how do I sit in this chair? I'm already in the chair. Your love, your peace, your joy, all your answers and all your solutions are already there. And your mind will now be going, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. but just close your eyes and be aware of your breath. And there's a difference between thinking and awareness. So thinking will be, am I breathing in, am I breathing out? Awareness is just being simultaneously aware of your whole body and the movement of the breath being breathed through you in the whole of your body. There's an awareness. And if you think of the sun in the sky, which is shining brightly, beautifully right now, as the satellite for the sat-nav. So in your car, on your phone, there's a satellite. It can see everywhere and everything and knows exactly where you want to go. The receiver is in your head. So your intention, what you're feeling, is like putting the postcode in. So as I just sit, and I come into my awareness, and I'm listening, listening to the birds. There's all kinds of buzzy bees and wasps in the bush behind me. So just listen, my mind becomes quiet. And I set an intention of feeling more love, more peace, more joy, more guidance. Knowing that the sat nav up in the sky is communicating right there with my heart and the antenna in my head. So instead of trying to get it in my head, or you in your head, drop into your heart, out of your thinking into your heart and feel that place of love. Not romantic love, just love. Gratitude. Underneath all the thinking is your peace, your joy, your well-being. And then you just listen and in the center of your head there's an antennae. Let it open and you start to receive your guidance. Now when you get caught up in the got to, need to, should do, you'll feel stress or overwhelm or insecurity or worry or got to, need to. You know you're caught up back in your story, back in your head, back in your thinking. It's not where the answer lies. So your fears, your insecurity are a good thing. They're also love, bringing you back, back into the sunshine. So just imagine the sun coming in wherever you are connecting right there into your heart and feeding your mind. It's already breathing you, be aware of your breath, beating your heart. The energy is in every tree, every leaf, every blade of grass, every ant, every bee, every person. This is the whole aim of meditation, to connect with this deeper energy whether you call it spirit, soul, higher self, common sense, inner knowing, it's all there already within you, confidence, worthiness. And when you drop in and it's like you're listening for a feeling, you get your answers, your solutions, your guidance for insight, for intuition, from inside, from a gut. It doesn't come from anyone outside, it's inside. And what I'm doing is pointing you back inside. 
not to listen to me, but to listen to you inside. The you that knows you better than I know you. The you that knows exactly where you want to go and how to do it. It's behind, before, outside of that voice in your head that goes, yeah, but what about this and this can't be done? It's outside. Just sit in the peace and listen. And if you have something in your life that you need an answer to, ask. What's the answer? Give me a new perception. And it's in the quiet, it's like putting the postcode in. It's in the quiet that you'll hear the guidance. It may be now, it may be tonight, it may be next week. But suddenly you'll go, oh yeah. And things start to unfold. So just sit, rest, be quiet. Meditation isn't a doing, it's a state of being and it's your natural state of being. It's how you were designed to live, not, not something we need to do. And then you live in the sunshine, you live a guided life. It's not, I'm going to go on a diet, do more walking, do this, get more money. It's a gentle guidance that as you feel the love, the peace, the joy, the well-being, the abundance. That as you open your mind, you have the knowing the energy of the whole universe already with inside of you, you know that you're abundant, rich. Life will start to unfold in magical ways. But you've got to give, be willing to give up what you already know, but I'm this kind of person, I have got a bad back and I haven't got a real right relationship and all of that, you've got to be willing. How willing are you to not try and push it away, not do anything about it, but instead listen to the sunshine and allow something new, a new idea, a new thought, a new insight, a whole new perception, a new solution. So I invite you just to sit for as long as you've got and throughout the day, just to stop, take a breath, especially today, the sun's going to be shining. Each time you have a cup of tea or coffee, sit, become quiet. Enjoy. Namaste.